When I began my term as a councilman for Anne Arundel County, Maryland, I took an oath. There were two important aspects to that oath. First, by that oath, I pledged my fidelity to our county charter and to the constitutions of Maryland and of these United States. Notice, please, that my oath did not include any commitment to obey what a judge says, or what a court says, or what a president or a governor says. The wording of the oath references the standard that applies to my behavior, and that standard is the written and objective wording of the Constitution. Secondly, the oath was taken and made before God, meaning that should I violate the terms of the oath, then I am asking the Lord God, creator and supreme judge of the universe, to condemn me for eternity. Well, this is serious stuff, and it raises a serious question. How in the world can a person who runs for office and desires to take this oath dare to ask for your vote or your support if he hasn't even read the documents that he pledges to uphold? And how in the world can you even consider voting for someone unless you are personally convinced that he or she is qualified? And how in the world can you tell if the candidate is qualified if you aren't? Well, you can become qualified. You can join us at the Institute on the Constitution for our Constitution course and get the tools you need to do the job you need to do. Our next class begins on the evening of November 28th, and you can join us live in Pasadena, Maryland, or online from anywhere in that universe. Please, visit theamericanview.com or call 866-730-9796 and ask for Teresa. Do it now. This is Michael Anthony Peruca for Institute on the Constitution, bringing you The American View.